new video starting right now. Okay, this is the video number two. Jumping right into this. I need to find where the frigate, not the frigate, the furnace is. Okay, so here we are in furnace. You can see the non-manifold edges. Um, here's an example of exactly what I was just talking about. Although, sorry about my camera work in here. Not very good with it. So this floor and this wall and also the wall there, none of this is connected, but it shares perfect coordinates. This coordinate for these two uh, vectors, I guess is what they're called. Is that the word? Yeah, no, vertex, vertex, uh, that's the one. These two vertexes, or vertices, and the vertices here are all the same. There's no whole uh, blender essentially lied to us in a way, uh, but not really. If I select all the collision and I go to merge by hitting the M shortcut, which I guess I don't have to do that, um, I can merge collision. You can see that it removed almost 300 vertices. That essentially like cleans up these so it does get rid of um, the vertices that like fake you out. But here's one that I was just looking at that I this this video in a way is me venting my frustrations. So let's let's look at this area. So if I click here, um, you can see that the the height of this is a point nine three four six. And the height of this vertice, if I or vertex, if I can click on it, is uh, nine three five six. So this corner here, which is where I was just clicked on, is slightly higher than this one here, which creates the same shape as before. There's a small hole all the way through this. Um, and if I exaggerate the hole, you can see like I can just lift it up, and we can look in the room. Um, but there is a hole across here, which means that if this floor weren't here, you could just reposition straight through this, um, in a line from like, you know, going down right through this seam. Um, but this, this floor is here, but this floor, and I'm going to show this in uh, world editor because it will just make my life much easier. Um, because controlling the camera on this is quite a bit less awful. Um, this floor is not... Let's get a good view on this. This is 90 degrees. This is axis aligned. This bends off. It veers off to the right, which means that and I'll actually showcase the hole here because it's kind of funny. You'd like never find this without the help of the blender tool. But if I sort of like wedge myself in the floor, you can see that there's a tiny hole. Um, Cause if there weren't, this would touch, but there's a tiny, tiny hole there. If you were to stand in this area and get a reposition to happen, which you can, because you can have the beetles come and attack you. You can reposition here. It's, they're geometrically speaking, because these are all right angles, except for this one. Well, this, this one's not either. Um, it essentially means that there is a position where you could be here and morph and have a beetle obstruct every other path. Maybe two of them attack you at the same time, but I think probably just one uh, would suffice. You could reposition through this line that goes basically directly to the corner, but like a fraction of a fraction of a unit this way. You could go straight through and where am I? You could go straight through the corner and go over this as well. Um, but you can't do that because Samus is literally too tall. You can't stand perfectly in this corner because you hit your head on this. And because of that, uh, this wall actually, maybe it's not access around. I lied earlier, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure, but either way, um, if it being bent this way actually doesn't change anything. Uh, if you could walk more to this side um, and morph like here, the line would be perfect. But because you're, you have to uh, have perfect position on the X, Y, and Z axis, 
if you were to be any further back or any further back this way, either way, you have to have more height for the line to, to work out, which is basically impossible um, because of this. Uh, but also because morphing, you'd have to morph off here and fall into position and finish the morph on the exact frame, and that would be terrible. But even without that happening, this is just slightly too slanted, and Samus is just too damn tall that you can't perfectly get into position. You try and walk into this corner, and like, you can't... Like, see how my head is hitting it? You can't get into the spot you need. You're like, I don't know, 0.2 units away from where you... If you could just stand there, you could just come here and morph when a, when a beetle is attacking you. Like, just come in like this. And it's like, oh, the beetle's attacking, let me just morph. And then you would just go right out of bounds. But no, we're not allowed to have nice things in this game. If we could get a big reposition standing, then it might still be possible, because standing reposition, like the one that I just had there, um, you're higher up, so like, because the line is drawn from the center of Samus, so if Samus is taller when she's standing, the line is drawn from a higher point, the line checking the viability of new positions. Um, so if you're higher up, then that means that instead of standing like here, you could stand here maybe, and have like a beetle there and a beetle here. It's It gets dumb, it's still dumb, um, but it has like maybe potential, but not really. And it'd be so nice if we could just morph, but we can't because uh, Retro always thwarts my ideas every time. Um, if you could seek a world here, it wouldn't be that big a deal uh, for some routes, but it lets you do uh, Ice Beam before bombs in 100% and not have to wall crawl back, which would have been nice. It also, um, if you were to skip bombs in any percent, it might allow some routing options that are a bit cleaner than otherwise. Um, but yeah, I just I, I, I just don't see it happening. I tested this room extensively. I've looked at like every every single non-manifold seam in the entire room. There's like a tiny hole here. There's a tiny hole right here. But yeah, none of it none of it is possible to do anything with. This one, you can't get a line that goes through. You always hit the floor. Um, cause like I said, you can only go on the diagonals, so like, there's only one line that could be drawn through this, and it's not the one that we, uh, are lucky enough to... <clears throat> it's not the one that we are lucky enough to have. So, yeah. New stuff being found, new discoveries, new insights, but so far, we don't have any new secret worlds to show for it, uh, and I was really hoping that this would be the one to showcase things, but instead, I'm just going to share all this knowledge, um, hopefully someone watches this to the end. <laughs>